Good morning, I'm Shihab Khan. The government says it has made its full and final pay offer to nurses after members of one of the main nursing unions voted to reject it and push ahead with more strikes. For the first time, these walkouts will include emergency wards and cancer care. This morning, the Royal College of Nursing's chief executive has warned that strikes could go on until Christmas unless they get a better offer. We will immediately move now to reballot our members in June. And if that ballot is successful, then those strikes will last to Christmas. But again, what I would say, and I would make a plea to government this morning, let's bring an end to this by getting round the table, as we have done um, before, and let's now put more money on the table and bring these strikes to an end. Our political correspondent, Harry Horton, joins me now. Harry, it sounds like both sides are really digging in. Yeah, they are. Uh, and there's real concern about the impact of these strikes on the NHS and patients if they do go on for the rest of the year, which unions are saying they will do unless the government comes up with a better offer. Uh, the RCN says there's no plans to coordinate strikes with junior doctors at this stage, who have, of course, been striking over the past week. But they've not ruled out that possibility in the future. Now, the latest nurses strike uh, that will take place on the first bank holiday in May, that will, for the first time, uh, include uh, intensive care departments, cancer units and emergency departments. That's been seen as an escalation of these strikes, and that's causing lots of concern, not least from Labour. The Shadow Health Secretary, Wes Streeting, today urged the RCN to reconsider that escalation uh, in the strikes. Now, the offer that the RCN Again, members rejected this past week has been accepted by some unions. Other unions are still considering that at the moment. The government this morning insists that offer was fair. It's waiting to see what other unions say before it considers its next steps. It's an incredibly strong offer. £5,100 on, on, on a, a basis um, for a lever for band five nurse. You can't uh, say that you're not going to increase that. Well, I'm saying it is a very, very strong offer, which has been accepted by quite a few others. Now, NHS bosses say it isn't sustainable to keep managing the impact of these strikes. Uh, so far, though, unions not backing down. The government appears unwilling to offer more money. And in that scenario, these strikes will go ahead. One to definitely keep an eye on. Harry, thank you. At least 56 civilians have been killed and hundreds more injured in Sudan. <laughs> Fighting has continued today between the country's military and powerful paramilitary force as they both fight for control. The sounds of gunfire and heavy artillery were heard throughout the country's capital as clashes continued over the presidential palace and army headquarters. More details have been released about the emergency alert that will be sent to phones across the country next Sunday. Phone users will hear that sound at 3 p.m. on the 23rd of April, along with a message which will say, in a real emergency, follow the instructions in the alert to keep yourself and others safe. Your phone will vibrate and make a sound for 10 seconds. Hundreds of Amazon staff in the Coventry warehouse will be striking for three days, starting from today, in a long-running dispute over pay. Members of the GMB union have also planned further strikes for next week. Five other Amazon depots are now balloting on whether they will strike too. And it's been confirmed that more than 6,000 members of the armed forces are set to take part in the coronation procession in just under three weeks' time. It will be the largest military ceremonial operation in 70 years. Thousands of armed forces, veterans and NHS workers will also be getting front row seats to watch the event after being invited to sit in a spe specially built stand near Buckingham Palace. That's all for now. We'll be back later with the evening news. Until then, bye-bye.